Hey everybody, so I am back from Quebec and today what I'm going to be doing is taking some of the plants that I had been propagating before I had left that now have roots. I have taken them out of water and now I'm going to show you what I do to be able to plant them from putting them in water to taking them out and planting them into their forever pots that they will be sold to their forever homes for. So let's get started. Okay, so today we are working with a lemon lime philodendron. The reason that I am working with this one today be is because this is the cutting that I have rooted right now that I'll be using for the example. So, when taking a cutting of most philodendrons, the first thing that you're going to be wanting to look for is where the nodes are. So the nodes make it pretty easy to find because they'll usually have these little roots sticking out. So, you're going to want to take a either a sharp knife or a pair of scissors and you're going to want to cut right below the node where you want to be able to take your cutting to put into the water. Forgive me, I am doing this while I am holding up my phone. So I'm going to do this as best as I possibly can. This is the one that I will be taking. So as you can see, the leaf comes out of this area here that makes this come upward. So we are, again, I apologize, just gonna give that guy a snip. And that's what you're gonna be using for your cutting. And when you put it in water, you wanna make sure that these little guys at the bottom here are covered because that's where your new roots are gonna be coming out. So you're going to want to use a clean um, mason jar, cup, anything that you can see through um, to be able to put your cutting in. So literally, this guy, you won't need a root, stimming, root stimulating powder because he does well all on his own, as you can see. So it'll take maybe a week or two. That's usually what it takes for me. And I keep it in this guy right here. This is my propagation station, as, like I, as I like to call it. I have some succulents up here propagating as well. So that guy goes in under this light here, and it will stay there until it grows roots. So before I put on my gloves, I want to show you what the finished product is after the few weeks of leaving it into the water. As you can see, it's got nice, healthy roots because they are white and they are hardy, like very thick. Um, I'll show you an example of a dead root. It's not a very good example because even he is still alive, but as you can see, like some of these roots, oh, this one's dead, down here. This one here is dead and won't be able to be used. See the dark brown, that's how you can indicate that it has a dead root. So, for these guys, I'm going to be putting them into pots now. So I'm a little messy at this, but this is how it's going to look after you pot it. And then you're just going to want to keep it 
moist until you can see that new growth has formed so that you know that the roots have catched. So that's all for my video today. Thank you for stopping by and seeing what I had for you guys. I will see you soon. Have a good one.